Alright, what's going on, Houdat Nation? It's your boy, Buddy Yoda, back again with another video. Um, just going to give some uh, quick thoughts of Saints uh, officially have entered their bye basically this week. Uh, we are 3 and 2 currently. This is just a little bit of a state of Saints, how they're doing basically. Um, 3 and 2, uh, actually pretty proud of this team right now, even though we've had some heartbreaking losses. That, uh, that Carolina Panthers game really stinks. But, but I kind of. Unfortunately, expected that one with the amount of coaches we were missing, which really sucked. We missed like pretty much 12 of our guys, so that sucked. And then that Giants game was that was one of the worst games I think I've seen. Um, just not able to finish it off. Uh, had them up by 11, fourth quarter, just couldn't close it out. Um, just unfortunate, basically. But uh, three and two, I think that's where the Saints really needed to be at least. Um, I had to say, and uh, you need to be at least three and two going into your bye, uh, due to you already knew that Michael Thomas was on the pup list. He was going to be out for six weeks. David Onyema is suspended for six games, so you already knew those guys weren't going to be with you. So I'm like, if you can get to three and two, you can get some those two guys back. It'd be really good. But then you just kept having injury after injury after injury. Quan goes down a week one, which is just unfortunate. Crawley, who we thought was going to be one of our opposite corners, thankfully Paulson Adebo's played pretty well, but he's down. Will Lutz, our kicker, and we've really struggled with kicking, basically, at the current moment. So it's just it's just been unfortunate. We were missing like something like nine starters. We lost Eric McCoy, Teron Armstead. That's two that's two fifths of our offensive line gone. Ruiz is now playing center. We got Throckmorton at guard and Hurst at left tackle. We lost TJ Jones, or Tony Jones, my bad. And that's just like another depth of our backfield just gone. We lost Marcus Davenport. We're, I would never thought I'd say this. We're actually desperately missing Marcus Davenport when it comes to rushing the passer and his ability to stop the run. It's just been, it's just been bad. Thankfully, somehow our secondary is put picking up the slack. A, part I thought would be a weak point for this team this year. It's turned out to be one of our strength. Lattimore's playing like a top three or four safety in the or cornerback in the league. Only guys I'd really put ahead of them right now, I'd say Jalen Ramsey and Jair Alexander, but Jair may even be have a season ending surgery soon, so he's just right up at top of there. He's playing up to that huge contract extension we gave him for a hundred million bucks. Uh, Demario Davis is as good as always. Uh, Pete Warner looks very impressive at the linebacker position. Really like what I see from him. Uh, Zach Bond's been a little disappointing, and I'm sad to say that I was very happy when they drafted him. Uh, our 2020 draft class isn't looking too hot. Besides Ruiz, who is that that flex guard center who could be okay. Uh, Troutman just hasn't been able to get going. He's been asked to do more run blocking sets than his normal pass sets that he'd been used to and accustomed to last year when we had um uh will not will clap uh can't remember his name but we we're nick vanette was supposed to be our run blocking guy so troutman could get out in space and it just hasn't happened up uh, we lost both of our best receivers mt and traquan you got callaway harris right now picking up the slack and harris just got injured this past week versus washington so you really don't know but uh, a lot of guys should be coming off ir Hopefully, uh, for our matchup against the Seahawks, uh, looking forward to that. But uh, yeah, uh, still holding out hope for this team. Uh, three and two records, pretty good, I'd say. And uh, that's all I got right now. Who that?